Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Robojax. In this video we are going to show you how can you assemble the FPV monitor mount. This kit is sold on Robojax.com. So uh, once you receive the package with all these parts, you will uh, make something like this. So this is your receiver and then you, you have the handle. Through the handle we put all these uh, parts and then you can mount your FPV monitor. So let's get started. So once you receive the package, this is what you get. All the pieces that are needed to assemble. So let's go through the, the parts that we have. We have four screws that is needed to tighten these two pieces of brackets uh, that goes around the two sides of the transmitter. We have two uh, medium sized screws with nuts. We have a little thicker uh, nut, uh, screw, nut and washer. This is the monitor mount, the big screw which goes at the bottom. These are two brackets. This is a, a bottom monitor bracket and two right angle pieces. So these are the pieces that you need for the assembly. You need three tools. You need a, a T10 hex key or allen key, this is T10. You need a Phillips screwdriver and a small plier to hold the nut while tightening it. The first thing to do uh, for the assembly is to put these two pieces. So I, I'm holding this, this piece up and then this piece, if you pay attention, this side is almost flat and this side has a curve. So I call this bottom. So I hold this bottom and assemble this like that. So then we get one of the 90 degrees angle piece. The larger goes to the bottom, the smaller is for the top piece. This is the top piece uh, that goes at the bottom of the monitor. So for this, <coughs> I realized when we use these screws, these nuts, we're using this one. Uh, it would be nice to put it in inside so it looks nicer, but uh, it, it's uh, blocking the way for the other screw. So I will put this from here, put the screw, the, uh, the washer, this washer is holding it for adjustment purpose. So insert that and put your nut. Now you need the plier to hold it and then a screwdriver. Okay, so that's nice. Let's put the other piece. Remember the flat side is up, the flat side is up. And then I'm going to put the big piece on the, the big side of the, this right angle. As this is longer, the other side is shorter. So I'm using the long one inside. And then put the washer. That. <coughs> so now that two pieces are done, we need to assemb uh, assemble this one. Now this one has flat side and then the curved side. So put this up and then using these two nuts and um, screws we will attach them. The screw from the top and then the nut from the bottom Okay, hold it from this side and tighten it. <coughs> that piece is done. Now this other piece. So as you can see there's a 
following that, so I have to unscrew it, put the nut first, put the nut first, and then tighten this. Because there's no, there is no enough room. for our piece from here we can adjust it screw the and, uh, and tighten this screw on this one and move this back and forth accordingly to fit the transfer uh, so this is my transfer and this will come here so now when you assemble it this side go towards the antenna the monitor goes here so put this and then we can adjust we can put this here Tighten this. Okay, so we hold this on this side, and we now we use the P10 key. So depending on the angle, so it doesn't matter as long as this piece doesn't touch the antenna. That's fine because here you can adjust the angle. Uh, So that piece was done, now let's put this side. You tighten this enough so it can hold the monitor. This has been tightened very tightly. Here the monitor goes here and we put the screw from the bottom. This angle can be adjusted so you can fully adjust the monitor. Okay so now I have this monitor. This is a diversity 7 inch monitor with built in receiver and battery. So this doesn't need anything else. Internally it has a battery and everything you just need to mount it to enjoy the FPV. So this nut has a flat screwdriver type. The monitor has a screw connector. So let me As you can see that's very nice, it's very handy and you can easily do your FPV. And I'm just turning the drone here with an FPV, so let's power this up. Okay. Okay, I'm very close and that's not a good good practice to have this close, these two, but momentarily that will be fine. <laughs> 